Good morning. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. And away. And what's up with the dress code this morning? We're going on a cruise, baby. Yay! We're going on a cruise. <laughs> Speaking that, Pino's Pacific Explorer pretty much got something for everyone. That's what we what we're doing, eh? So, good all right. morning again. Good morning again. Um, with that uh, rude awakening intro and the cat that's biting my toes down below, we're going on the cruise, and we've decided to take two of our clients who actually we've, we've bought three cabins so we'll be in the one cabin and then we've got two more cabins that we are going to give to four people or two people per cabin two couples two couples yeah yeah, yeah. so and That's... if it's singles like somebody asked yesterday if it's singles there can be two singles in this well we can ask them to make it single beds yeah it and um, that is um, the cruise is next year next May. year may if i'm right yeah yeah, what's the date? Um, let me see the dates. The dates are just on this side. The dates is from the 19th of May. We depart the 19th of May. We depart from Auckland and we are going for four nights. Four nights out in the ocean. Yeah. So what you need to do if you want to enter, you need to be an existing client of JD Financial Services. I would say I'm up about till the end of yeah. Jan. So you so. still have time to become a client yeah. if you're not. And then you'll also have to um what do you need to inscribe. Oh we will have to oh, we're gonna put you in your name in the draw um by means of you uh just completing a few sentences. Yeah. So it won't be that difficult that you can't complete it. So we probably promise it won't make it difficult. So uh, you need to enter the competition. Now the nice thing is uh, so it, look, the nice thing is we've got one cabin for somebody that's out outside that will look over the ocean mm -hmm. and we've one got one cabin inside so that we'll call that the first price and the second price okay does that make sense okay <laughs> yeah. so morning brian good morning to everybody on facebook saying morning 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 <laughs> uh, morning all over it's thursday my english is not so lucky uh, this uh, english is, is up <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah um that's, that's going to be a lot of fun we're going up from from auckland we're departing from auckland Four nights on the boat, and then we're going up towards um, Bay of Islands. So, yep, um, Bay of Islands is pretty. It's there near Russell, Kerry Kerry. I know there's a day trip, I think, to Kerry Kerry or something like that. Okay. And we are going to, um, out on the day trip, after that, we're going to have a lot of fun. This, the trip includes all meals. Um, and I think there's a, I think it's a 50 AUD, was it dollar voucher? I don't that know, get whoever you wins, you'll get all oh, the Oh, you'll get all the detail, yeah. But we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll make more detail of this. Um, Your English is also up. My English is up. <laughs> I've, had a, I've, had a, I've had a long week so yes, far. So maybe we should do this morning, yeah. morning up records, I don't know. No, this morning is all about us, uh, not because we are egocentric, but it's we want to tell you what's happening in our lives as well. There's a, a lot of new stuff happening what is for the um mm -hmm. but except us going on the cruise with with you in 2025 we um then we tell them about the baby yes okay. it's not our baby <laughs> <laughs> we're getting we're getting a new grandchild i think i've said this before on this program we're getting a new grandchild and the date of birth is roughly in the beginning of april it's beginning of April. Yeah. Okay. So I've got to put that somewhere in my mind. Um, mm -hmm. So so that's the that will be our fourth grandchild. Yes. But the good news is, the good news is, we have three other grandchildren. Is that right? With grandchildren? Mm -hmm. Yes, grandchildren. Um, and they are still in South Africa, but only for about another two weeks. Then yeah. they are arriving in New Zealand and they're coming to stay. 
Isn't that wonderful? So that is some of the best news we could this share is with anybody. What we've been praying for for six years yeah. is to have yeah. all our children here with us, and it's finally going to happen. So we are really excited. Slowly but surely happening. So yeah. this is the last of our kids that were still left in South Africa. Um, and if you can see behind me there, <laughs> there's <Cat>. our cat. <laughs> Crazy thing. Yeah. Um, so we had uh, we've, we've got four kids. Uh, oh, sorry, three kids. I didn't tell you about the other one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got three kids. The one could come with us. The other one has now just been here for very near to a year. And the third one is on her way in two weeks' time. Yeah, so, so that is really So the one that's going to have the baby is the one that's here currently, mm. um, the oldest son. And then the, our daughter has got three kids, and she's on her way. Yeah. But there's even more good news. What? My sister's also coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're arriving at the end of this month, on the very last day, the 29th, 29th of February. February. Yeah. yeah. So they're also coming to stay permanently. They're going down to the Hawks Bay area. Yeah. So, so if you're in that area, please be nice to them. Uh, we'll come and introduce them to Hawks Bay. Yeah. So, so yeah. yes, we're going to have a really good Christmas this year. I can't stop smiling. Ah, the problem is with the Christmas. We're going to put all the people. <laughs> this thing just gets bigger and bigger and bigger every year. That's where Christmas bed comes into play. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's not, not only the bed story, it's about the amount of people we're going to feed and house and whatever. But we'll do it. We'll yeah. do it. So. Um, yeah. So, and what else did you want to talk about this morning? I want to hear, but um, you with Labyrinth for Lemonade, um, oh. you said something about yesterday going here and there, but I was a bit busy, so I mm. forgot. I, I can't tell the people what have you got planned this year. Yeah, um, we are doing a few road trips this year because in the previous years since 2020, we've always <coughs> just done the big places like Auckland, Hamilton, um, Tauranga, and we also visited Napier every year. But this year, we really want to reach out to the ladies in the smaller towns um, that can't get to the big places every time and we don't mind even if there's only a group of 10 or 15 ladies that's fine okay, that's okay, perfect okay where are we going okay so first we're yep. going to Fakatani for the first time yep. on the 2nd of april i'll post the okay, second of april. And, so that's um, the first one is Fakatani. the first one is Fakatani okay. on the 2nd of april okay. second one is napier on the 20th of april okay so Fakatani napier, napier. that's okay. in april Right. And then um, my mother is coming to visit us in May. So, oh, how long is she coming? I don't know. And I'm I just wanted to make sure that I'm not here. Yeah, I've got a long road trip planned in May. <sighs> you know that she listens to this program. That's good. Mom, uh, don't forget your broom, please. <laughs> and um, I'm also planning to go to South Africa for a few days. You've got a wedding um, i've got a wedding there yeah. that i want to attend and i just want to see my dad um but i'm only going to be away for like eight or nine days i'm okay. not going to make it long i struggle to be in south africa since the first time that i went back it's really hard well, for, me. for six weeks i just can't do but it then you're glad you're back again mm, no <laughs> <laughs> when i sit foot on south african ground i already want to come back so yeah i'll do it for eight or nine days i don't know how the jet lag's going to go I'm going to suffer from it there and then it was not that bad when you go there mm. it's worse coming back okay so <coughs> and then from june on we will do our planning in this month so, so there's nothing past pocket on in Napier. no but we're planning to go to tukarua a lot of ladies from tukarua what about gizzy 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 we want to go to gisborne okay. we want to go pommy 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 farmers in north Kerry, okay. Kerry. Kitty kitty. Yes. I'm going worth fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there are a lot of places that we want to visit. And if you are in a small town and there's a few South African ladies, um please how much, how much is, is the least amount? Um I would say ten. If okay. we can get ten, then it's worth our while to just right. come and visit you, treat you to a nice ladies' morning, um, maybe do a craft. We like doing craft, it's a nice way to get to know other people because you're busy. Um, with something with your hands and it makes it easier and a little less less um uncomfortable uncomfortable okay. it's easier to um, make friends when you so how many how hands. many of you and your 
footprints are going down to these things. It depends. Yeah. It depends who wants to go with me. I know Rini is definitely going with me every yeah, definitely time. Two, two, definitely two, two of us. Okay. And then um, we'll see who else wants to join in. Yeah. We'll see who wants to That'll go. Be fun. Can, I, can I ask something? Mm -hmm. If JV Financial Services, mm. which is my company, sponsors two tickets mm. for you and one lady mm -hmm. to go to Christchurch. Oh, yes. Would you want to do a thing there? I oh, know I've got yes. wonderful I've got wonderful clients down in Christchurch and I think they deserve something like this. I the would South love Island has to. been sucking the hind tip a bit. I know. We've been so. thinking about um, the South Island for two years now and just the logistics around it is a little bit difficult. Yeah. But I'm sure there'll be someone in Christchurch that will be able to take your hands and just finalize the, yeah. The yeah, there's a, there's stuff a lot of beautiful us. people down there. Mm. I, I think it would, um, it would be great. Put, put your planning in place. Uh, Christchurch is a cold place in the winter. They probably do it a bit more towards the summer or while it's still hot. So just think about that. Okay, thank All you. Right. We'll do that. Okay, that's from my side. Um, <gasps> I, I like to, um, to support the ladies. Um, the ladies are the reason why we guys have, have, have crossed the Drakensberg many, many years <laughs> ago. Yeah, really. We wanted to have a better lands for you. That's why. Really, better Other, lands. All right, otherwise, we would all sit in Cape in having a few dots and catching snook and stuff like that. Guys are, are like that. So when, when the ladies came into mm, our yeah. life, that we wanted to move. So. Okay, now stop Don't, talking nonsense. Talk something that makes sense. <laughs> Now my, my point is, it's an immigrant woman who, who is the driving force behind us as men. Mm. And, and you you are the reason why people succeed. Women are the reason why men succeed. I know a lot of men won't acknowledge this, but I, I feel that way. Mm. I feel the way. That yeah. The fact that we as, as caring husbands and fathers and so forth will look after our kids, that is one of the reasons why we have decided to live leave south africa yeah no so, it, it is true yeah. and we really just all we want to do is just be there for the ladies mm. and help them to get to know each other so that they can be there for each other yeah. and somebody just saying come to nelson as well i know now that we're going to the south island it's going to be all over the show we'll have yeah. to go to nelson Queenstown, uh, I, I think Christ let's start Church. off with Christchurch church <laughs> and get that done and Especially the, the the movement of of the stuff that you guys always take. It to. Yeah, I, don't I know think if you're in Nelson, it. maybe um, make a group and do Come a road trip. To Rush. How far is? That's not that far, man. South Island is a small man. <laughs> it's probably forty <laughs> minutes from Nelson. That's, no, it's, it's far. About four or five hours. Yeah, or no, it's far. But anyway, we'll see when we we'll yeah. see when we can visit all the little towns. But we are, they, are we, we'll see that there's definitely one this year in Christchurch. Okay. All right. Okay, that's a promise of mine. Mm, yeah. Okay, what more is happening? Um, Aren't you planning anything for Tauranga? There, there will be something for Tauranga. So there will be, we will have uh, Whakatani, Napier, Napier. Mm. we will have Tauranga. Auckland. Auckland. Are we going to have uh, Hamilton this year? Yes. Hamilton, so that's five already. New Plymouth. Oh, New Plymouth as well. Ooh. Yeah, Palmerston North. If Palmy, you can. Palmy. If there's Brisbane, enough people. There yeah, is enough people. Yeah. Rian Pretorius is saying road trip. Rian, it's all I'm seeing. Road trip. Man. Yeah. Are you coming with us? Road trip, <laughs> man, mate. Big one. <laughs> so we are talking five, six, seven. Seven yeah, places now. Yeah, that's not enough yet. I know. We are on a lot of weekends in a year. I know. Yeah. No, we all. And then we've got beautiful towns around us. I mean, mm. Rotorua. Yes, Rotorua is also Rotorua. 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 So yeah. that's eight now. Yeah okay yep that, that's good news i mean that's yeah. good news people people must be feeling crafty this morning well let me say the ladies must be feeling crafty mm -hmm. yeah this year we're doing crafts um a little bit of oh. motivational speaking and why crafts. can't the guys then go fish but you do that anyway so i'm not gonna go there <laughs> well while you craft we guys mm. can go fish i've never fished in palmerston north i've never fished in mm. in those other places Somebody saying Taupo. We can put top one. There's a lot of South Africans in Taupo. That's Taupo's number nine now. That's number nine. Yeah. I've got beautiful people in Taupo as well. There's still enough yeah. weekends left. We can do that. <clears throat> so there's there's nine places on, on the list so far. Mm. Uh, you said Kerry as well. Mm. That's 10. 
yeah. thing for I can't think of all of them now. Okay, no, no just <laughs> just one thing to contemplating. We yeah. are going to be all over the show this this year. So, and then um, there is a lady, Karika. Yes, I'm cop. In Auckland, she lives in Pukekohe, and she's also planning <clears throat> a Afrikaans ladies morning in Pukekohe. Karika, who's this? Um, Karika Kuhn. Kun, okay. Um, and the group's name is Confetti Frienden. It's a new group. Okay. Confetti yeah. Frienden. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting it's one. It's really nice. If I think confetti, I think uh, marriage. No, it's just colorful confetti. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so you, can, you, yeah, she's planning it for the, I think it's the fourth of May, if I'm right. Okay. So if you're in Pukekohe area, um. And I, I think go? this is probably going to be the first one in Pukekohe. I'm not mm. going to that one because I've got my retreat on that weekend. Okay, 4th of May. Mm. So it's another fishing weekend for me. Yes. As life is tough. God, oh, no, so life I'm, is tough. I'm, yeah, I'm sad that I'm going to miss it, but I will be involved in some kind yeah. of or other matter. When um, Easter weekend, when is Easter weekend? The end of March, you are oh, not here. No, 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 I'm not here. That's what I wanted to say. I'm not here. <laughs> end of March, I'm not here. Yes. So, uh, end of March, we're going on a very epic, very epic, and first time ever we've done this trip uh, for the mostly for four by four enthusiasts. Um, we'll probably have a seat or two available somewhere, but we're going, uh, we're doing the Taranaki trip. Um, it's through a few tunnels, and it's going to be something. Something epic. We're just hoping for rather dryish weather because it oh. can it can be one of those trips. But we yeah. are going to do that one. We are oh, going to do nice. that one. It's, yeah. it's done. We've booked space on a farm, a very nice farm actually. It's got one uh, toilet and one um, shower, so it's not a ton <laughs> of ablution. So we 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 we're curbing the amount of people that we can take there. And you can you take your caravan if you want. Oh, you can take your caravan. Yeah. You can take your tent. Um, there was a chalet. There's a single chalet. It's actually Airbnb with the, the nice paddock that they okay. arranged for us. So there was a chalet, but um, that has been taken in total by uh, Tian, who's, who's afraid to sleep outside these days anymore. Uh, okay, so you're soft so now. Now Tian has gone soft from since moving to Napier. <laughs> oh no, it's gone to the docks. It's gone mm. to the docks. So yeah. So, yeah. So that's going to be a good. That's going to be I'm a not lot going of fun. with him because. My new grandchild can be born any time. are afraid of so take her with me, then you can, I, um, you can all have fun. I really want to be there for this. We can, we can shake her baby a bit. <laughs> so, yeah, I won't be joining that one. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. It's a pity. It will no, probably no, it's be right. one for the books. But, but yeah. It will definitely be one for the books. So this weekend, they are going up to um, Waikato. Yeah. Uh, Trevor is leading a group up to the Waikato. I unfortunately can't go with. Um, I'm leaving for Coromandel this weekend as well. Mm. So the guys are going down to Waikato and they're going to have some fun down there. Um, we're doing a road trip, more business road trip than anything else to um, Coromandel side. And then we'll get back early, early next week. Tuesday, um, we're back on Tuesday. Right, back on Tuesday, yeah. yeah. So Looking forward to it. We're going to stay in um, Fitianga, which is one of my most favorite mm. places on earth. <laughs> so we're really looking forward to that. Yeah, it's, it's interesting mm. the 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 is it charm charm that the Coromandel is. They, they if you if you drive into the Coromandel, they've got this big uh, roadside sign saying it's good for your soul. Yeah, good and, and it's really it's good for your soul. I'm I'm sad. Yeah. Last year we didn't do a lot of Coromandel. Mm. And, it was um, a bit of a problem with that state highway. I think State Highway 25 or something. It was, was because of all those um, roadworks and a lot of other stuff and storms. That it, it was a storm, mm. the February storm yeah. last year. Remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. That's, That's the right. reason That's the road right. fell apart. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So. And we've got friends from South Africa um, with us. They're in the South Island at the moment, but they're coming back tomorrow. So, so they will be going with us. Oh, yeah, we're going we to show them what the Coromandel is all about. Like. Mm. They absolutely love the South Island. Yeah. It, it looks like they had some it, fun. Yeah. Mm. And it looks like the weather was just perfect. Oh, they were so quite lucky. Yeah. We're so. looking forward to showing them the Coromandel. Mm. What is more happening in our lives this year? Except we're going on a trip, baby. <laughs> That's only next year. <laughs> That's next year, but I'm, I'm um, super chuffed yeah. about that. Yeah. So. Other than that, I'm really just excited and looking forward to spending time with my family. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Um, it's been six it's been long six, years, seven years now. since we've been able mm. to be together. So, um, yeah, this is just a dream come true. Yeah. So and they, um, the oldest daughter, hubby, and the three uh, grandkids are moving into our house for a period of time until they find their feet and find out where they want to stay. So it's always the biggest thing is where do you want to stay in yeah. this country? So yeah. Built out it. Ah, we'll have to. We'll have to do. We'll have to have to. <laughs> Put some barriers up somewhere. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, that is my main my main aim for this year is to just get to chill, chill out with the kids, chill out with the kids, yeah. and um, get to see a few new places, mm. support the new the new ladies, not only the new ones, all the ladies from South Africa. Let them get together, mm. have it. Yeah, you know, just have a little fun together. I tell people what what you normally do on a Thursday. I don't think Thursday, people really know this. I go to Kati Kati on a Thursday, so I would I'll be going leaving just as we're done with yeah. this. Um, to I go give a co um a craft class to a group of people with disabilities. Um, Chrome Collective is the non-profit organization that is Kati organizing Kati. this in, yeah. in Kati Kali with yeah. Kati Kati with Shelly. She's on, yeah, she is the main, so the main, main driver domain. behind this whole thing. But yeah, it is for people with disabilities that's um, left school. So a little bit older, say from 17 years on older. Mm -hmm. And I also have a group of a few older ladies that's, like um 60 65 or so That's been beautiful ladies they've been there from this with, okay. yeah um so what we do is i just pick a craft every week and i go to kati kati and i show them what to do last year before the christmas holidays they had a few um markets mm. the uh, Graham collective had a few markets so what we did is we made a few craft items to sell on the markets like christmas cards and christmas crackers and all that so um yes i must say that i get so much but from has, the has everything sold there a lot of crackers i needed to make 200 crackers on the that because we couldn't finish it because someone ordered 200 crackers oh there was an order yeah there was an order oh so um so that is what i do on a thursday which mm. is really fun so if you are in Tauranga and you would like to join me one thursday to go to kati kati and just see what we do and maybe help out okay. with the crafts please let me know i'll pick you up and you can go with me and yeah, that's gonna be fun eh? yeah so. what they try to do there is they try to help those people kind of integrate into mm. the normal society so okay. if they can learn a few a few skills mm. they can help them get into the workforce or whatever yeah. so if that is possible that is their main aim to help those people get into the workforce okay. and be able to support okay. themselves yeah so yeah. that is what I do on a Thursday, and it, I absolutely mm. love it. And it's good for the soul. So good for the so it's soul. It's like the Coromandel. So good for the soul. Sometimes I really don't know what I'm going to do with them, but um, yeah, in the end, it's something which is okay. Yeah. So it's like the Coromandel. It's like the Coromandel. It's Coromandel. good for your soul. <laughs> yeah, we've got seven minutes left. So what do you want to talk about? So, buddy, so, you your plans for this year? Uh, for this year, doing the same as I did last year, just work my ass off. Try to take over the world. Try to take over the world. <laughs> Try to take over the world. Now, um, I, I last year came up with the idea to uh, do this cruise, and I, I really struggled to get this off, off the ground. Um, mm -hmm. the, the main problem was when you book a cruise, you've got to give names and surnames. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find anywhere that was willing to give me three, basically, you know, say two blank. Cabin. Yeah, it's a, it's a competition. You don't know. Yeah, I can't always. say it is. Mm. Otherwise, that would be unfair. Yeah. No, yeah, you win, but somebody else is going your place. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> come on. So, yeah. Yeah. Vanessa saying, fishing, camping, road trips, probably. Yeah, fishing, camping, road trips. We started uh, trout fishing now, so that's a quick two-hour mm. stint in an art. Um, and I actually like it. Uh, I, yeah. did, I did my first real trout fishing uh, on last Saturday. Um, well, we were about for two hours in the water. It was water was freezing mm. cold at some spots, but it was fun. Like two good, decent trout that they could bring home at the end of the day. So, um, 
I've got an idea, but I don't know if you want to do that. Well, let's say. When I go on a road trip to places that's a little bit further, yeah. where we will have to sleep over, don't you want to go with and do like a bride right. or something with the men? Okay, why not? Why not? Let me see if, if any of the guys here has got any objections against Brian. I we know a lot like, of guys um, doesn't like Brian. We did it last year in Napier, and it, it was, was it was really yeah, that fun. Was a lot of fun. You yeah. know, it's good. The ladies, and it's only the ladies because we ladies we think of yeah. stuff like this. We organize some kind of thing so that we can mm. get together and just be there for each other. But the men don't do that. The men just they just carry on. That was tough. We gotta hey, bye, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you girls go and do the, the crafting, and we as men has got to watch after the kids and no, the house. And... You go fishing, but you know what? What I'm thinking is, men, is, you're not just loners. You're not group. We're just group steerer. We're just group isvies. You, you men are not like that. Now, if if you are ever at any function, eh? You check. A guy goes to the toilet. One guy stands up and he walks to the toilet. Mm. A lady wants to go to the toilet. All the bloody ladies go to the oh, toilet. Look who's down yeah. here, Mark. Morning, Mark, and uh, happy birthday. I think it was Isn't like two days ago. It was oh, his birthday. Wow. Yeah, so. so good to see you. On yeah, here. somebody just saying, Bri in Christchurch, and we'll be there. Okay, guys, we'll come and Bri in Christchurch. Mm. Um, I don't know if Air New Zealand will allow us to fly with all our briars. No, so. but it'll be someone that can take <laughs> oh, your hand on somebody that Somebody will side. have to arrange yeah, it on that side. So, yeah. um, so maybe it's a good idea if you're going to places that um, I think it's a good thing yeah, for the to men to also well. just okay. get together and just, you know what, like with the lady, sometimes you just need to hear someone else's mm. story to see that you're actually feeling exactly the same as everyone else yeah. going through the same thing same struggles mm. yeah same worries yeah um yeah and get to know a few people it That's is and, the and, main thing and, and, but the thing with, with guys is we don't actually open up and tell our whole That's heart story saying. yeah but you girls you come it's just slot and trana and tissues and the story is out you'll be doing so much better if you just do what we do <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's difficult for, for, for guys to grasp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe that is a good idea. I think we should. So, we have a bri and we cry. We should. A cry bri. We should try and do that. That, that can actually be something, a cry bri. Mm. <laughs> yes, you're talking a lot of nonsense. No, no, no. I was just thinking it's a cry <laughs> bri could be a good thing. No, guys, we're going to bri, not cry. So, um, well, I think we'll, we'll try and organize, except for Christchurch. We'll have to do something about uh, meat and stuff over there, but we'll. That's logistic. We'll sort it out. Leave it's that easy. to me. We can do that. Yeah. So somebody yeah. will pick up my hand on that side. I we'll, do believe somebody will. We'll go. sort it out. Yeah. I'll shout in Martin's ear or one of those guys down there. Mm. So. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Okay. Now I think that's it for this morning. Next okay. week we'll do a little bit more about um, life in New Zealand, not okay. just about what's happening in our lives. I am going to open the the. What is unscrewing? The competition the com entries. The competition entries um, very soon. And I think next week we can draw two finalists. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is on every 30 minutes with Jan for the next year, yeah. we'll draw two people to go into yeah. the draw from then, the entries that we get. Yeah. Don't think if you are an existing client that you will automatically be entered. You still have to enter because some people don't like Cruises. Yeah, if you don't like cruises, please don't enter. It's... That's what I mean. They won't enter if they don't like this, cruises. This, I think there's a lot of people who don't oh, like. Oh my word! I think there's a lot of people who don't Go like. Go back to bed. I think there's a lot of people who don't <laughs> like cruising. Huh? That must must be something like that. So, yeah. All right. So okay. we hope mm. we hope we can get two people at least to enter, <laughs> so we can have those two. <laughs> Those two places I think about. you will also mention it in your <clears throat> monthly newsletter. I'll send it around the monthly newsletter. Yeah. I'll send everybody a specific letter to each and everybody oh, all and the explaining will where one. to. Okay, where to. Rian, I'll send you something. Rian wants to know how do we enter. He You'll get the details. Rian has been playing, I think, computer games in the background because he hasn't been listening. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys and girls, thanks Enjoy a lot. That's birthday. our time on Thursday, and we see you next. Next week, same time, same place. <laughs> and then he said next year.
Ich auch. Bye. Bye.